All right, let's take on the example questions for composite solids. Remember, composite solids are just solids that are more than one shape put together. So in this case, we have a rectangular prism, and then we have a cylinder. And what's going on is the cylinder is sort of a hole drilled out of the center of this rectangular prism we have here, this uh, sort of a long box. So what we need to do is find the volume of both the box and the cylinder, and then we'll subtract the volume of the cylinder from the volume of the box, yeah? And what I did was go ahead and pull in our, our formulas here. A formula for the volume of a rectangular prism is just length times width times height. That one's pretty easy. And then the for formula for the volume of a cylinder is the area of the base times the height, or pi r squared, which is the area of the base, times the height. You can look at it either way. So let's start with the prism. So we have our prism. Oops. There we go. The prism is length times width times height. So we have length, which is 30 units. Actually, I suppose length technically would be 25, huh? So that we can do height the other way. So we'll do length is 25, and that's times our width, which will be 25, times our height, which is 30. And the reason I chose to call them length width and height in that order is that my formula for cylinder is area of the base, so the area of the circle, times the height. So the height is going to be that, that length along the cylinder. So I decided we should probably make it match with our other shape here. It doesn't really matter because you can multiply in any order you want for the prism, but this sort of keeps it straight as far as what our different dimensions are for both shapes. So our prism is just 25 times 25 times 30. So if we pull out our handy dandy calculator, we get 25 times 25 times 30, or 18,750. So our prism is 18,750. And then our cylinder is area of the base times the height. Well, the area of the base is pi r squared, right? So we have 8 centimeters for our diameter clear across here. So our radius then will be half of that. So the cylinder radius is only going to be 4. So we're going to have pi times 4 squared, which is 16, times our height, which was 30. So we're going to pull out our calculator again. And we got pi times 16 times 30 gives us 1508. So we have our cylinder is 1508 cubic units. Yeah? Centimeters, cubic centimeters. So we have 18,750 cubic centimeters for the volume of our prism and 1,508 cubic centimeters for the volume of our cylinder. So the overall volume is going to be 1,008, I'm sorry, 18,750 minus 1508, so use our calculator again, 18750 minus 1508, 17242. So you have 1000, I'm sorry, 17242 cubic centimeters is going to be the area or the volume of the shape minus that little cylinder sucked out of the middle. Okay? All right, example B. Example B, find the volume of the composite solid. All the bases are squares. So we have two shapes here. We have a rectangular box, so a rectangular prism, and then we have a pyramid sitting on top of it. So first let's find the area of that prism. It's just going to be length times width times height, right? So we have 48 this way, and it said the base is a square, so it's also going to be 48 the other way, 48 that way. And then it's 18 tall, so it's 18 from here to here. So a rectangular prism is going to be 48 times 48 times 18, or calculator out. 48 times 48, oops, try it again. 48 times 48 times 18. 
So 41, 472. 41, 472 cubic centimeters. Cubic centimeters. Okay. And then our pyramid, let's do that in a different color so we can keep them straight. Our pyramid is going to be one third the area of the base times the height. So we have the area of the base is going to be the area of the top of our prism. So it's going to be that 48 squared. So let's go ahead and punch that up again real quick. 48 times 48 is 2304. And we're going to take a third of that area of that base. So we'll have a third of 2304, which is 768. So we have one third of 2304 times the height, which is 768 times the height. And unfortunately, we don't have the height yet. We need to find this height first, because all we have is our slant, right? So we need to find the height of this pyramid. It's going to be a triangle whose base is half of the distance across the top of the box. So it's going to be 24 centimeters. And it's going to be 25 centimeters down the hypotenuse. So we can solve for our missing side B, the height, using Pythagorean theorem, right? So we got 25 centimeters squared is equal to 24 squared plus B squared. So we'll use our calculator again. We're going to subtract 24 from both sides. So we're just going to pull up 25 squared minus 24 squared. So we got clear 25 squared minus 24 squared equals 49. So b squared is going to be 49, which means, of course, that b is 7. So our height then is 7 units. So now we can finish this off 768 times 7. Clear 768 times 7, 5,376. So this is 7, 5,376. So that means that our total volume for the entire figure is the volume of the rectangular prism plus the volume of the pyramid. So we have our 5,376 plus 41472, and that's going to be 46848. So our total volume is 46848 cubic centimeters.